A woman accused of preying on elderly victims by posing as a health care worker while stealing their keepsakes learns her fate today. Good evening, everyone, and thanks for staying with us at 5 30. I'm Ellie Merritt. And I'm Mike Jackson. Authorities use surveillance video, fingerprinting, and thousands of pieces of stolen jewelry all recovered from Susan Gwynn's home. New at 5 30, NBC 4's Rick Reitzel, just from back, back from the Delaware County courtroom, he spoke with the victims today. Rick? Well, Mike, Gwen told everyone the reason she stole those items was because she's addicted to cocaine. But the judge says there's no evidence of that. 55 year old Susan Gwen cuffed hand and foot, turned to the victim's families, and apologized. I'm deeply sorry for the pain and loss. Gwen continued to blame drugs for her behavior. I will devote my time to paying you back. I know with all my heart this will never happen again. I pray. Everyone can forgive me. But she may not have the opportunity. The judge sentenced her to 65 years in prison. What's your thoughts of the apology that she turned and faced you guys? I don't think it made any difference because I don't think anybody can do that to an elderly person. I mean, they have dignity and they're still human beings. Gwen stole checks from Claire's 93-year-old mother who's battling dementia. Alan Hittipole says it was a week before his 97-year-old mother told him of the thefts. She called me in tears one evening, and uh, obviously she had been fighting over this for some time. Twelve of the 46 victims have since passed on since the thefts. I just came and wanted to see what the person who did this looked like. I wanted to see the person's eyes. I wanted to hear the sentence for myself. More than 3,000 pieces of jewelry were recovered from Gwen's home, but the prosecution says many of her victims remain unidentified. In Delaware, Rick Reitzel, NBC4. Rick, thanks so much.